Now we understand the two different views of inequality, the right wing and the left wing. We also know the two different types of redistribution, pure and efficient. What uh, I think, and especially, I mean, to me definitely, now the tricky part is measuring inequality, right? And uh, the book focuses on inequality within the countries, right? So we're not talking about developed economies versus the underdeveloped economies and the gap there. We're talking about within an economy, say France or US or you know, India or Indonesia, what, are, what share of the, the wealth or income are different participants or different sections of society uh, getting. In terms of measuring um, inequality, there are a bunch of bunch of different measures, right? There is Gini, Gini coefficient uh, that is quite famous, right, and, and widely used. There is Palmer ratio. Uh, there are quite a few different ones, but uh, what Piketty is focusing on in the book is P90 by P10 ratio. And the way to understand it's actually quite easy, right? So let's say that there are 10 different bands of income in a society, right? So in P90 by P10 ratio, P10 represents the lower limit uh, uh, below which we find the poorest 10% of population. So you take the different income bands, right? And then you take the bottom 10%, the P10 number is the upper limit of that 10%. And then P90 is the upper limit of income below which we find 90% of population, right? So it's P90 upper limit uh, below which we find 90% of population in terms of income. And P10 is upper limit below which we have 10% of the ex extremely poor uh, population for a given country. Right, so we divide P90 by P10 uh, and we get a number and this is one of the measures of inequality and uh, this is the one that is used in this book. Now the next question is, what is actually happening in terms of the inequality numbers around the world? And um, this is again quite a complex question, but one thing uh, that I want to talk to you guys about is the Kuznets curve. And um, that was at its time quite a discovery by Kuznets, uh, an economist in the 20th century, mid 20th century, he introduced the Kuznets curve as it was a huge thing. So um, I think it's quite important to understand what it's all about. The Kuznets curve introduces a relationship between time and inequality, right? So. So this is time and this is the level of inequality. So what Kuznets actually says is that inequality uh, is a bell curve or an inverted U curve. So it goes like this. Inequality firstly goes up, then it kind of stagnates and then it goes down. And uh, Simon Kuznets was saying that this is the optimal and uh, kind of even irreversible process for every economy, right? So that in order to go down, right, inequality first has to go up. So that we're talking about this first phase of development, uh, inequality would increase as traditional agricultural societies were industrialized and urbanized. Then the middle part, the stagnating bit, is the second phase of stabilization. Uh, and then third phase in which inequality substantially decreases. Right, and then Piketty actually says that this pattern uh, of growing inequality in the 19th century, followed by decline in inequality after that, has been well studied in the case of the United Kingdom and the US. So there was quite a bit of support to Kuznets curve but uh, unfortunately it doesn't hold anymore. In 1980s, in the developed countries, the inequality actually started going up again. And uh, in Kuznets curve, there is no explanation to why that happened, right? There was no economic shock. There was nothing to suggest that the basic kind of uh, basic set of rules for Kuznets curve was somehow altered, right? So what basically happened is that inequality went up, then it stagnated, went down, 
and then in 1980s it started going up again in the developed countries. The Piketty in the book says that that was, uh, and I quote here, blow to Kuznets curve. There is some truth in some places that arguments introduced that inequality is indeed an inverted U-curve and that sometimes it has to go up in order to go down, uh, but it just doesn't hold in the modern time, so we should come up with something else.